You can't wear combat boots and leather jackets in the jungle, so how do you rock your alternative style? This is Alternative Alterations. On this channel, we take inspiration from the alternative scenes of the late 70s, the 80s, and the early 90s. We thrift, we alter, we style. I'm Kelly. Welcome to my channel. I'm about $15 for the shoes secondhand, and I made the rest. I left New York in my everyday alternative style, but ready for the island. Travel style is found in that sweet spot between everyday style and what is fitting for the culture and the environment. Through each phase of my journey, I shed layers and transformed from New York to Puerto Rico. Day two, and I'm going for beachy with an edge. I altered these pants. I cut off the side seams and made them into wrap pants. Black bag and metallic sandals for a little edge. Got a lot of inspiration in Puerto Rico from ways to have island style with an edge. Adding tropical colors to your everyday style. Colored rather than natural straw or rattan. DIY shirts with surf flowers or palm leaf drawings or stencils, metallic accessories, wear cotton, linen, silk, or bamboo cloth in your colors, canvas shoes like chucks or van, pork pie hats or fishermen's hats with band patches, kilts like a utility kilt. How fierce would it be to rock a parasol on the beach? I think pajama bottoms make great beach wear, rope or wooden accessories, vests for sure. How do you do island style with an edge? Why don't you put some comments down below? The bikini is two separate pieces, so it's coordinated, but not matchy-matchy. This shrug was a basic boring beige, but I dyed it a metallic gray, and I'm wearing it with a pair of black and white striped silk boxer shorts. Lightweight fabrics and tropical accessories in my colors. It's a nod to the beach aesthetic without being a cliche. Styled with thrifted and altered wear, and I'm ready for an alternative alterations adventure.